Contour maps are possibly the most difficult thing out of chapter 9 because they're so abstract. So question 1 asks you, I'll go through each type of question you'll come across. Question 1 asks you to draw a side profile of what this mountain would look like from A to B. Okay, so how I do this is I sort of draw lines down Okay, just so I know where these lines touch. Right, so that's where these lines touch. So what happens is we need a scale. So this is, you can't see it, 0, 20, 40, and 60. So the orange line goes through the contour map. And at this point here, it's at zero. At this point here, you'll see we're on the 20 line, so that's here. We then go up to the 40 line here. We go a little bit above the 40 line and back to the 40 line there, a little bit below and back to the 40 line there. Okay, we go probably a little bit above and back to the 40 line there. We go down to the 20 line here and then back down to the zero line here. Okay, so now we just connect the dots. We go up to 40, a little bit above, back down a little bit below, a little bit above, and then we come back down the other side. So that's the side profile, or a side profile of that mountain. So I find the easiest way is to bring them down, draw a scale so that you can work out where you are, and then just line it all up underneath it. Question two in this exercise asks you to go the other way. So they're giving you the side profile and asking you to draw the contour map. And I do the same thing on these I did on the last one. I bring down roughly where they touch. Just like this. And then use them to draw my contour map. So we'll have a little circle between them, okay, and that's my 200 line. I'm writing very small so that you can see what's happening. And then I have a circle between this one and this one, and that's my 150 line. Okay, I have a circle between these two, which is my 100 line. And then I have a circle between these two which is my 50 line and I also have a small 50 circle between these two okay so that's also 50 and then I have a circle between A and B that surrounds the whole lot so here is point A here is point B and that's the contour map that would give that sort of side profile there. So it's again about just bringing down where they cross those important points. Make sure you label your contours, which I forgot to do for the zero. And it's just a rough estimate. So get as close as you can like I have here. This is not a perfect contour map, but it's a good, it's a across the line A to B, it's a pretty good approximation of what that side profile looks like. The last type of question you come across in this exercise is using the contour map to work out a distance. So it could be a direct distance or it could be the average slope, so the angle of the mountain in that area or something like that. So here's an example of the contour map I've drawn. You've got points A, B and C and the contours are 0, 20, 40 and 60 with these two in here. They've also give you a scale. Okay, so you need that scale if you're going to work with distances. So if I wanted to find the direct straight line distance between A and B, I need to first work out what it's telling me. Okay, so I need to work out what's going on with this contour map. So point A, okay, which you can just see there, is here, and point B is over here. It's uphill, okay, because A is on zero, and B is on 40, so the vertical distance is 40 meters. Now using the scale I've been given, I can actually work out how far the distance is between them. 
it's about six and a half centimeters which makes it uh, what's that about 2,000 so let's say 2,200 okay so that distance there is 2,200 meters okay so then I can work out this straight line distance here because this is a right angle I would use Pythagoras okay I'm not going to do it you guys can work out how to do it if you want an example use this in an example and you guys can work out the straight line distance between A and B the second thing they might ask you to find is the angle so the average slope between A and B okay so you might need to work out this angle in here if you have the vertical height difference and the horizontal difference and you're in a right angle triangle you have O and A so you'll be using tan theta equals O over A so you use your trig ratio to work it out so again once you understand what a contour map is showing you you can use all the skills you found in chapter 7 and chapter 8 to work out angles or distances